Hello everyone, this is the second video I'm doing this weekend. I've got another one on WEED, APH, ACB, EMC, and HMMJ to check out. This one's on FIRE, MJN, OGI, THCX, and EMH. I appreciate everybody's comments and follows along. want to give a big shout out to everybody in the chat room this week, and I did that in the other video if you want to check that out. I'm also attaching at the end of this video an example of the live analysis that we do every day where I go live for two and a half hours and certainly have been covering the MJ sector a lot because there's a lot of volatility and opportunity. So feel free to check that out. We have a free week trial for anybody wanting to check out what we do. And I would love to meet you and have you check us out. So checking in on fire to start it off, we have continuation with higher lows and higher highs. Did not see as significant a sell-off. And with these smaller names, we do definitely have correlation in the sector with the big names with WEED and APH leading the way. But with these little names, it varies in terms of strength of correlation. Sometimes they're strongly correlated, sometimes they're not. So they definitely are more able to do their own thing, so to speak, in terms of price action. And for fire, we saw the big bull breakout. That didn't occur until October 5th. That was a bit of a laggard. Everybody else, if you look at the other video I just did, they were breaking out on October 2nd and October 4th. So fire was a laggard. The bull break here was at 150 and 151 and we made a run up to 164 here today so we did pull back significantly but the bulls bought the dip off of 151 support so previous resistance acting as a support today and if 151 breaks i'm looking down at 144 as the next key support level the bulls want to maintain so our resistance of 164 weekly time frame extremely strong bull move the weekly chart changed its trend when we pulled back we hit our low we hit our high of the bounce, which was still a lower high. We pulled back and formed our higher low. And then as soon as we got over 132, that gave us a higher low and a higher high on the weekly. And it's been nothing but breakout since then. So that was the bull signal on the weekly time frame that the trend had changed. And the bulls are now in favor. And actually to find resistance from where we currently stand, need to look on another chart here because of with the upgrade, or I should say the, the listing change that fire had we shifted in terms of the price history. So I need to zoom back here on uh, investing.com to find the next resistances. And I'm looking up 164, 170, and 177 are the next resistances that I'm looking at for fire. So you can see the trend change where we went from lower highs and lower lows, still another lower high, higher low, and then as soon as we broke 132, higher high, and a shift in that momentum. So fire bulls in full control, not significant profit taking. Well, there was significant profit taking, but the bulls bought the dip and still maintaining strong. MJN on the daily time frame, also a bearish candlestick, topped out at 309. Bulls bought the dip off of 285. If we break 285, I'm looking down at 268 as the next daily support. So a very strong move here. The bull break occurred when we saw the higher high over 272. A very nice follow-through move. The weekly time frame is breaking out above the upper Bollinger Band now. And MJN has looked a lot on the weekly time frame, like some of those bigger names, like Weed and APH, with the higher lows and higher highs. And the next resistance is to be looking at after 309. I'm looking back here at previous price history, 314, 354, and that's the all-time high. So we are looking at new all-time highs in the near, near future here without many resistances until that level. Just a couple left, and you can see the bull volume spike here. So a very similar weekly chart to the other big names and seeing that follow through. OGI is a bit of a different setup as we have seen pullback before today. Not as strong a breakout where we had profit taking multiple times this week. But as of right now, resistance is 308. Support is 284, 282, and 279. Those are the three levels I'm looking at. Bulls had a big time breakout back here mid-September, and I believe that was news related. I'll have to refresh myself exactly what that news was, but higher lows and higher highs following that pattern, and you can see we are definitely in a strong uptrend. Just have to be a bit more cautious because we have seen multiple profit-taking candlesticks where every other name that I've looked at so far today, it has just been today where we saw that profit-taking. So weekly time frame for OGI, also seeing a shift in the trend momentum. We had our low Still a lower high, higher low, and the higher high was when we broke 259. So our resistance now after 308, we are looking up at 361, and then a few more levels before the all-time high, 376, looking up at 449. So the bulls are in breakout mode. There's no doubt about that. They're very strong. And on these names that are breaking out on the weekly time frame, when they lose the upper Bollinger Band weekly support, that's when we know some more prolonged consolidation is coming. And you can see every time we broke out here back in last year, last fall, 
We broke out above the upper Bollinger Band. We lost it and consolidated for three weeks, broke out above it, lost it and consolidated for two weeks, and then that long-term six-month consolidation when we lost it the final time coming off that all-time high. So losing the upper Bollinger Band support when you are in breakout mode is an indication that consolidation is coming. And some of these names on the daily chart that are breaking out above the upper Bollinger Band, and none of the names here, but when they lose their upper Bollinger Band, we will be looking for daily consolidation to play out. THCXV, very significant bull move over the last few weeks. Clear stair step pattern higher, higher lows and higher highs. We are starting consolidation early here on THCX compared to everybody else. The top was hit two days ago, and the it was a bearish reversal, gravestone doji. We confirmed it, and now we have an inside bar. So this is giving us a glimpse of what I'm looking to happen on Tuesday to all these other names, where essentially we can view what happened on THCX as to what I what happened today on the vast majority of names, weed and APH included. And this is the candlestick that I'm looking for to happen on Tuesday on those names. I'm looking for an inside bar trading within the wide range. I'm looking for an equilibrium price to be reached and things to settle down on lower volume. And then we're going to look for how this inside bar breaks. If it bear breaks, we know be more patient, further consolidation is coming. And if it bull breaks, we know consolidation is short term. The bulls are still in full control and we're going to head back to test recent highs. So this is almost a glimpse into the future as to what to be looking at for those other names. And we'll watch Tuesday and look back here and see if that's how it ends up playing out. Weekly time frame does have a big upper wick of profit taking. We are likely to see a lower high on the weekly from this significant upper wick from 229 after 229 i'm looking at 240 and 290 is the next two resistances but that's a big bearish upper wick and if we pull back we'll look to form a higher low somewhere above 124 that will be easy for the bulls to pull off to keep the higher low higher high pattern intact but just looking for consolidation which is already underway for multiple days at this point emh inside bar of consolidation after an upper wick of profit taking yesterday i'm looking at support of 134 133 and then 127 with resistances of 141 143 and on the weekly time frame the next resistance after 143 is going to be back at 144 so these names that are small like uh fire and emh picking out support and resistances is a little bit more tricky just because many times we'll have resistances that are all one penny within each other you know fire had resistance at 150 151 and i like to have space in between my resistances so you know, we can see trades within those levels, but if we if we have support, you know, two cents below the price and then resistance all lined up one penny, one after the other afterwards, it does make uh, the technical analysis a little less meaningful because we know we have to break these pennies in order to see continuation. But just a, a note on these small cap names where one penny is a much more significant percentage move than it would be on the bigger names it does make it a little bit more tricky in terms of finding clear support and resistance level to, to be going off of. So after 143 is 144 and 156. And we do have the break here for a higher low and a higher high on this weekly time frame. once we got that break of 136. So the bulls are definitely in control here, breaking out above the upper Bollinger Band, increase in bull volume, bull MACD cross. So strength in the sector is back. A lot of bullish action, a lot of hype around the space now. And it will cool down. We don't want to enter positions up here, in my opinion, long-term positions. We need to be patient and wait for consolidation. And I'm seeing in all the Facebook groups and on Reddit where people are seeing this bull move and they, they are missing out and they want in on the action and they're trying to see if they should buy in now. And it really is just not a good idea to chase this move up after we've seen 30% gains or whatever it is in the past month. We need to wait to buy on some consolidation because this market's not going anywhere. Nothing has been changing. Obviously, we've been seeing you know, some, some more information with how the provinces are going to be dealing with legalization. And in my opinion, the reason that that is leading to this run is the media coverage. And I, again, I saw this in the USMJ sector when the media coverage, we had the, the states, Colorado and Washington, approve full legalization. We knew it was going to happen before the vote even happened because the polls were so clear. And so it was priced in before the votes even happened. And then we didn't see much run up after the votes came out. And the run up occurred January 1st, which was two months later when we saw the first sales actually take place. I don't know if it's everybody saying, oh man, I guess it is real. I don't know what the reason is, but in my opinion, it's the media coverage because all the news stories, articles, everything was saying 
first U.S. recreational sales, blah, 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 and that was getting the headline around the country. And then we saw huge breakouts with volume coming in. It's essentially the herd catching on. And if you've been following the sector for the last year or two or even more, you are ahead of the herd, and we are ahead of the herd as technical analysts, in my opinion, knowing more information in terms of what's going on by looking at these charts. So the herd is responding to you know what the media is feeding them and how it enters their uh their how it enters their circle so to speak for them to become aware of it through media whereas those of us that are watching the market and well aware of this sector we're watching it every day and that is not the way that we get the the information so we are looking to get in before the herd because it's the herd that runs these prices up like this and if we get in before the herd then we benefit the most in terms of the gains so that's what we're looking at as we head into the next couple of weeks i am cautious and looking for some more prolonged consolidation i don't think we're just going to run up to all-time highs from here we still have a ways to go before 2018 i do think it's going to be an extremely beneficial sector to be in for the next decade i think it's going to be a lot of fun trading and investing so let's now look at that example of the live coverage that we had and again come check out the free week trial at chartguys.com look forward to seeing you there